How many of the Baskervilles is the most famous Sherlock Holmes story? <laughs> it seemed to me it's rarely been treated really as a full-on horror story. Um, and that's how I wanted it to, mm. to, to, re, to, to go for it. <laughs> What's interesting, I think, is, I think it's absolutely true, is that um, we, we, it's not like we're a less credulous people. Mm. And particularly the notion of conspiracy theories, which is um, sort of where it started mm. from. Um, I had this idea that Baskerville could be a, a sort of top secret military base on Dartmoor, in fact, it was like a weapons mm. research thing. And the, the, po the big possibility is that whatever's out there is some sort of genetic monster. Genetic mutations, animals grown for the battlefield. And then it was massively held by an accidental conversation at a Christmas party where I met someone whose dad had um, worked for the Ministry of Defence and um, I'd probably get put in prison for this. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> One day, many years ago, sometime in the early 80s, he hadn't come home. And just at the point where they were going to ring the police, he turned up white as a sheet. He said he'd seen terrible things. Rats as big as dogs, he said. And dogs. Dogs the size of horses. And I did have a conversation with, with a, a geneticist who had worked at Porton Down, and he said it's so vast and so secret, and they have a couple of, of government inspections a year. You know, you can imagine almost anything happening down there. And, that, you know, and, in, and in that gap, I think, mm. you can do almost anything. That's what's exciting.